Hey, welcome back to Jelly Space. We're going to talk about our Skywatcher Adventure, Star Adventure GTI, um, and the reticle on the inside of the polar scope is off uh, off axis a little bit. So we're going to show you how to fix that real quick. So first thing you want to do is just get your mount set up. Um, you have a little level that's on board, a little bubble level, so make sure that's pretty close to where you want it to be. And then your right ascension, um, which is the twist of this right here, I'll show you. We just want to get that. Also, nice and level. It's not going to be super precision stuff anyway, but get it level since we're here. And that's good. That way we're just making sure that when we line up the, the polar scope reticle on the inside that it, it is uh, lined up with this. So, all right. So next we're gonna look through the reticle and see what that looks like. And then I'll show you how to fix it. So we have the telescope completely level and this is what the reticle in the polar scope looks like. Apparently this has uh, been pretty common issue with the Star Adventure GTI. So we're gonna talk about how to fix that. And that lies with these adjustment screws right here. There's three of them all the way around. There's another one in there, it's a little dark, but we're gonna use a 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench and we're just going to barely loosen those up. We're gonna run this all the way in. So this is the focuser. We're gonna get our the actual bit itself. We're going to get those in each one and back it off a half turn to one turn. Doesn't have to be a lot. Now, on the inside, the reticle is in a little ring. Those screws are what holds it in place. It's cone shaped to the back of the eyepiece. I'm gonna actually take this apart so you can see it. But it's cone shaped. Now, if we take the mount and we take this off the mount and we hold this straight up to the, looking up at the sky and because that cone piece is resting against the eye piece when we turn this it'll actually turn the reticle once we have it where we want we'll slowly and delicately just put those all back down a half turn or one turn however much you loosen them up and then check it all so you can also back your eye away from the eyepiece a little bit and while looking through it you'll be able to see the crosshairs and try to line them up with this bolt and this when you're looking through it so to kind of help you gauge where it is and again it's never going to be super precision because of how it's made it's it's never going to be as good as uh, plate solving but it'll be good enough to get you there a lot closer than the way it is now so We'll move on to that next step. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this so you can see what I'm talking about, the little cone-shaped piece and everything. We're just gonna unscrew this all the way. Hold this up and close. There is the reticle. It's on this little piece of glass. I don't know if you can even see it. You can barely see it, it's etched on there. That is it. And we'll back up just a little bit. I'm going to show you, you can tell that it's got a tapered, like a cone shape to it. So it sits up like this and mates right in there. And that's what helps to keep it centered. And then those screws just hold it in place. So that's why you just want to back them off just a little bit. So. Worst case scenario, this thing is 180 degrees out. It's in a bad state. Try not to touch the glass, but you're just going to screw this back up in. Pull this bad boy up. And we're just going to screw it right back up inside. And we're going to go all the way until it stops. It's now setting that reticle piece all the way up against the top and holding it in place, not forcing anything. It stops right there. So now we're going to hold it up like this and 
just unscrew that eyepiece until we get the six at the bottom position. Now it might be a little out of focus. Find a light source, a ceiling light or something that'll help get it in focus enough where you can see what the numbers are. I'm gonna rotate it until I get centered. There we are. And then I'm gonna back it away like this. I can line up with the two bolts that I was talking about earlier. So I can get a far away perspective of the reticle and the crosshair. There I got it lined up. And then I would bring it back down like this and on those screws back in the equal portions that I had them. That was a half screw turn. Check. That is substantially better. Pretty straightforward. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like, what you're looking like on the inside here. I'm going to back this back out and we'll try to get a camera shot looking through the reticle. This is going to be what you see when you're moving around the focuser piece looking straight up at the sky. You'll see that rect reticle moving around. We'll move it where it needs to be and just hold it up, tighten those screws and you should be good. Let's go ahead and finish this up, put it back on the tripod. All right, pretty straightforward. We got it all done, much better. Everything's right in the world because now I don't have to turn this thing kind of sideways like this anymore. So uh, if you uh, want to know any more about this or if there's anything else you're curious about, please feel free to let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you again soon with the Mirror Project.